Hello, it's the Devil Joe back again with a brand new video. And today I'll be finding out which Devil May Cry game has the best health bar. Now I could have ended up making it a full on top 5. Since we're talking about a series that has multiple playable characters, changing up each health bar, playing around with the HUD and Devil Trigger meters. Having said that, I'll be putting them into the following categories. Clarity, which meter was easy to read? Creativity, which HUD was the most stylish? To award the winning Vitality Gauge with the Intercontinental Life Support Championship title. Without any further ado, let's jump into this crazy ranking. Starting off with Devil May Cry 1's health bar, leaning into the Alistair aesthetic, before picking the damn thing up. I like how creatively gothic it looks, using Lightning Sword's hilt and gourd. Once that sword stabbing takes place, plus this Ronaldo dribble, the sword is unlocked. So is that Devil Trigger gauge. Here are these weird ass yet cool as fuck looking magical ornaments, that are not Japanese or Chinese kanjis. That's what I thought these were. On further inspection, they look way too different. Pop that Devil Trigger open, a blue electrical current flows through them symbols, while their glow gradually fades away. Switch over to that Ifrit, them demonic kanjis are burning to a crisp in that chill ass bonfire. Head over to Fighting Moondis, the powers of Sparta flow in a sexy red glow of a black hole. That's when you pop open Devil Trigger that is. DMC 1's health bar is beautiful in every sense of the word. Kamiya and his team made sure that everything goes hard, including that one meter to gauge how many green pixels you have left before seeing a game over screen that could have easily been a rectangle or two, adding in a smaller rectangle for Devil Trigger. But Kamiya said no, fuck it. We already cooked on every single menu. Why not the health bars? Next up is the Devil May Cry 2 health bar. No matter who you're playing as, it's the same exact thing. The amulet on the left hand side of the meter, changing color based on the gem you've got equipped. The gauges are the definition of basic. No artistic thought or detail has been baked into any of these. You got bland yellow pixel rectangle, followed up by generic green pixel, that gets harder for a few DMC2 players to read the gauge. I mean bruv, what the hell does the blue mean? When it comes to a freaking vitality gauge, green is the color of vitality. The least y'all could've done is add an extra bar below, like in the last game for easier readability. The DT bar is easy to understand. No issues from it, aside from looking too basic. Credit to where credit is due, the amulet has a nice aesthetic to it. That's all what I got in DMC2's health bar, it be too basic. Moving on to Devil May Cry 3's life meter, coming in with styles. This UI piece on its own is hella iconic. I know it's not inside of a sword, or anything, instead it's within this one steel bar, expanding with each blue orb pickup. In all honesty, I think it looks stylish, fitting in with the title's overall aesthetic. One of the things making this thing pop out the most, being the Devil Trigger gauge. Not gonna lie, I'm really digging them balls. The first three are sectioned off in a meter all on their own, indicating it to be your core base. It's highlighted and bright in your face gold. Purple orb upgraded DT balls remind me of something I'd wind up seeing on a Yu-Gi-Oh card, either as a monster's gimmick or one of those star strats below the monster's name. If it's a Shin Megami Tensei reference or a Yu-Gi-Oh one, either way it looks fucking cool, especially when you hold it for a burst, handing him red balls to unleash the biggest load, wiping out a whole room full of demons. Even the gauge is getting the feeling of coming by literally having a mini explosion in the actual meter. We got them style icons. Each style you choose has a different metallic look to it. Swordmaster's got this blade coming out from the bottom of the meter, alongside the gauge filling up in red. Switch over to Trickster, you'll get a wing along its icon, using yellowish gold for that meter fill up. Royal Guard has a literal half shield around it, plus slightly darker green to show the style level of progression. Then green spheres light up each time you block. Charging up releases. Gunslinger's meter is a pretty genius looking gun handle on the life bar. Featuring a hammer lines for a grip, all of that good shit. Style level indicator is in bright blue, brighter than Virgil's jacket. Switch over to that Quicksilver to find that trippy demonic stop clock. It has no numbers. It might as well end up as a time stopping amulet. That purple gem in the middle gives off that feeling. Doppelganger's icon is creative to say the least, giving off the illusion that the icon has been cloned without cloning anything, drawing four separate metallic rods, moving downwards, two bronze gems parallel to each other, moving on to Virgil's motivated strats, Dark Slayer style, altering that icon to the nth degree. 
For real, I don't know what that pattern is or what it's supposed to be. All what I know, it looks fucking cool, man. Hell, the dark purple level ups complement the whole pattern. In a way, it works well with Virgil. The thing is pretty clear, all right. Extremely readable, while not being too distracting. Devil May Cry 3's health bar is nothing short of a masterwork. Fitting in with its overall aesthetics. Becoming an iconic vitality gauge in this series. But this next one gets way better. Then we have the most creative set of health bars in a video game, Devil May Cry 4. The amount of detail on each character's individual health gauge changing drastically with real meticulous detail on every ounce of that meter. Playing as Nero, the first thing you'll start to notice, a part of the Red Queen's inner workings have been taken as a part of the HUD. You can see the gears, along with them little nuts and bolts, moving around subtly. Charge up the Red Queen, they start spinning like crazy as that gas thingy charges up the sphere, in turn charging the actual Red Queen. You can even see three exhausts at the very left. One thing I just noticed about the Exceed meter, it's more of an exhaust pipe, delivering the flame to the blade. Since Devil Trigger is quite literally Yamato, its gauge quite literally carries a katana's pattern. I mean, come on, this thing's tip is way too similar to that of a Japanese sword. Despite them gothic looking spikes dropping down from the meter, is it unnecessary? Yes. A cool as fuck detail? You bet your ass it is! When we're talking about the actual health bar, it takes up after DMC3 quite a bit. The bright green is definitely on full display, encased in metal, ending off in decorative crescents. Since he's still in that Night of the Order era, enter the wacky woohoo pizza man his health bar has a whole ass dmc3-esque looking aesthetic i'm guessing there's a beyblade attached to it or something plus the first letter of each style is on there t for trickster s for Swordmaster, r for royal guard g for gunslinger if you'll switch over to dark slayer the black hole will glow in the middle of the circle atop of the health bar each time a style is switched the name of the style is at the top of it, with an icon at the back. A mini sword for Swordmaster, a gun barrel plus hammer for that gunslinger, Royal Guard obviously gets a shield. Check this out, head over to Dark Slayer, a katana pops up. Might be the Yamato. DT meter is a different rage mode to Nero's. Instead of the Yamato inspired gauge, we get upside down triangles that look like pizza. Scratch that, a set of triggers leading to this winged pattern at the end. Let's not forget that disaster gauge, sandwiched in between them two health bars. I do forgive it a lot for being basic. I mean, it's shoehorned into this massively detailed collage of gauges. What about at the end of the health bar? Looking closely at it, I think it's foreshadowing the perfect devil trigger. That was supposed to be here, but didn't make it in time. Until the 11 year later mark. You can tell how much royal rage he got. It's basic, but readable. When motivation men got to the party, they went hard on this man's HP. First off, that health bar is tilted. Unlike every other character's perfectly straight one. Tipped off as a katana, purple DT gauge, in the style of Nero's summon shurikens. The big elephant in the room is that concentration meter. Some people call it motivation, for very obvious reasons. Upon further inspection, I've come to realize that the blue circle all this time was Virgil's crystal blue iris, surrounded with demonic veins, waiting to unleash brutal displays of power. Bruv, when it fills up, there's this aura around it, meaning there's no time to fuck around. It's all business from here. Lady's gauge is also nicely tricked out. The circle is an M19's barrel and hammer, with exposed bullet casings and charge ups for the Kalina Ann. And I'm talking about major shots. The health gauge gets Kalina Ann's bayonets at the end, which I think is pretty badass. Remember, folks, Mary is only human. She cannot turn into a devilish kaiju monster. Instead, carrying grenades, shown by the DT, or should I say bomb burst, looking all tactical. No demonic prowess attached. Trish made it all the way to this party. Dragging along a Sparta lookalike HP, it has the perfect amulet that is found on the Sparta, surrounded by this metal casing. Even the bar ends on the tip of the Sparta. DT gauges a bunch of lightning strikes. After 11 long years, Devil May Cry 5 is finally here, polishing up absolutely everything from gameplay to lore, level design, while not giving two shits about the health bars whatsoever. I'm sorry, I love DMC5 as much as the next guy. Just go over and watch my 5 things that game did right and wrong. Video, I was mostly giving it mad praise. But let's not kid ourselves. All 4 of these health bars are the definition of mid. The vitality gauge has no metallic casings whatsoever. Even Devil May Cry 2 gave it a glass container. But this gives it nothing. For the DT gauge, it ain't any better. The same goes for all 4 characters. The fuck, man?
The same glass break is still here, along with switching things up for each pro tag. Deadweight boy Nero gets the exhaust. That's about it, chums. It lights up and all going for exceeds. Only thing you're gonna get, bud. A far cry from the mechanical genius of DMC4. Ah, Dante, the wacky woohoo pizza man. Surely he's gonna get an all out there HP, am I right? Huh? To quote Dante in DMC4, what the hell is this? I would say lazy ass heads up display for Dante. The dude should have got something more, I don't know, stylish. All you have are the style letters and this bullet hole. Moving around with each style switch. That's it. Credit to where credit is due, Royal Guard's rage meter is crisp and clear. Most of all eye candy, hyping you up to fill out the entire meter. It also helps that it's better than the DMC4 rage meter. If anything, SDT is the thing that saved it. With the orange and red along with Rebellion's Damascus pattern. It's just a kick-ass meter. The storm is approaching, I guess. The motivation meter is pretty cool, not gonna lie. Bringing in that Sin Devil Trigger chest piece, filling it up using that blue life force energy. It's still the same UI including the SDT meter. It's copied and pasted from Dante, switching it from red to blue. Still looks cool though. Well, let's check in on what Poetry Man has got. A pretty dope circle, reminding me a bit of the DMC3 icons. The tiny one for Griffin, plus the larger one for Shadow. The biggest one goes over to Nightmare. Fits V's aesthetic. Doesn't hurt that the life bar is completely visible for both pets, as you get to see it vanish in a blink of an eye. Ladies and gentlemen, we come to the grandstand of crowning the Intercontinental Life Support Championship title. Time to unpack this top five. In the number five spot is Devil May Cry 2. It's readable alright, but it's a nothing burger. Too much of a basic vitality gauge. In the number 4 spot, we got Devil May Cry 5. Yes, DMC5 is a kick-ass video game, no questions asked. On the other hand, the HUD is kinda lame. I put it over DMC2 because at least the vitality gauge puts in some effort with Virgil and V's HP. But come on, this shit looks bland. In the number 3 spot is Devil May Cry 3. This title has a pretty red HP bar. Not gonna lie, it's readable. In terms of aesthetic, it's really damn cool for Devil May Cry 3. The unique icons, along with its metallic bars, mainly work for DMC3's grimy look. Put it in any other DMC game, it starts to look out of whack. Number 2 on this here list is the OG Devil May Cry. I like how unique and simple this health bar is. Using Alistair for the vitality gauge. Not to forget the DT symbols that can be mistaken for kanjis, giving off this dope gothic aesthetic. Ladies and gentlemen, the Intercontinental Life Support Champion, Devil May Cry 4! Why did the unfinished game win this one, you might be asking? Well, ain't it obvious? All them life bars are peaking. In terms of meticulous details suiting each character in each of its minute intricacies, while being ridiculously clear and easy to read. Now that takes some legit talent to pull off. With that out of the way, we come to the end of this video. What were your guys' thoughts on it? And which health bar deserves to win the Intercontinental Life Support Championship title? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd like to thank Zesty over at Extreme Gameplays for making the top 5 God of War health bar video. That inspired the idea for this video, let alone inspiring most of the videos on this channel. I'd also like to give a heartfelt thank you to everybody for getting this whole channel to 3,000 subscribers. I really do appreciate it from the bottom of my own heart. Couldn't have done it without any of y'all, old or new subs. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button and smash that subscribe button real impact style. At 10,000 subscribers, I'll pull off a full ass Dante combo in real life with the entire cosplay. Shoot that bell icon with an ebony and ivory bullet to get notified on whenever I drop a brand new Devil May Cry or other action game video. This has been the Devil Joe signing out. Catch you on the next one. <laughs>